Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Please remember that time is fluid and what that means is this could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Now, I'll be reading your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom, but as this is a general reading, it can be flipped or reversed. I always list the decks that I use in the description box below. This week, I am using a really special deck that a beautiful friend of mine actually created, and it's available in her Etsy shop, so I am 100% linking her Etsy shop in the description box for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if her pre-orders, um, or they're, they're sold out right now, but definitely go follow her shop so that way you can be notified when the decks are back in stock. They're just so beautiful, okay? <clears throat> I'm so proud of her. Uh, let's see, part of your world, feeling left out, needing attention, cosmic connection, soulmate, twin flame, divinely guided connection, sunset, reminiscing on times gone by, dreamscape, connected in the dream, in the dream or astral realm. My, 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 my. So there's a very intense connection between you and this person. Under the deck is sunrise. The truth emerges self-awareness. So something coming to light here. There's like some kind of cycle here with sunset, sunrise. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, I have been sick, so I'm sorry if you cannot understand me or hear me as well. There's, um... An option for subtitles at the top right hand corner just select those three dots and you can adjust the playback speed if I'm talking too quickly um, or you could turn on those closed captions at the top right hand corner if you're not seeing that option try revisiting the video in a little bit because sometimes YouTube takes a while to turn those on <clears throat> Five of one. So are you fighting your feelings with this person? Are you struggling with some kind of decision to make about this person? Try to pace yourself, perhaps. Try not to jump too quickly. You're afraid this is just less. Like, what if it's just not love? What if this person's not serious? Like, what if I get hurt here? Like, really in your head about this? Three of cups. There could be other people involved for some of you, not all of you. That could be coming to a close. However, if there's other people or there has been other people. Really interesting. The hair font under the deck here. So Taurus energy. There's some kind of lesson to be learned throughout this situation. Somebody here could be a public figure or influence. The, the hair font is a teacher or a spiritual leader. Um, with the Eight of Cups here and the Queen of Wands. Okay. Um, okay. Some of you may have been married to this person or someone could have been in a, some kind of position of power or a higher level of commitment in the past. I feel like they're leaving this behind. Um, they, they, they're pursuing their passions now. They're taking control. They want to build stability for of wands because they miss you. They're thinking about you. They're, they're thinking about some kind of missed opportunity the two of you had. There's, some, there's truth coming to you now. Okay, uh, The truth emerges here. I think you've been so emotionally torn about this person or this decision because you haven't wanted to like put yourself out there or get yourself hurt here. Like you've tried to kind of, you know, be more logical instead of like leading with your heart, you know, kind of thing. Just trying to take that time for you. Like, so like you feel this person, like even when they're not with you, you feel this person, part of your world, feeling left out, needing attention. You may feel like this person's like pulled their energy back from you spiritually, you know, speaking, I feel like you're, you know, you're still connected to this person, soulmate, twin flame connection, divinely guided. Okay. This is, it's, it's one of those things where even when you're not with this person, you feel them all around you. Like you can't seem to shake their energy because you're always connected to it somehow. And it's like, <clears throat> you've been trying to kind of hold yourself back because you're afraid of getting hurt here. Like you feel like this person is, you know, either there's emotional or physical distance, potentially both for some of you. And I just see you kind of going back and forth in your mind, like 
five of wands is like conflict arguments but it can also be you know fighting internally in your thoughts like going over in your mind you know can i do this should i wait for this should i try for this is this person even interested is this you know is this all in my head do they feel the same way do you know should i should i try you know should i keep putting effort in here should i walk away from this what should i do i don't know what to do i feel left out from this person i feel like i don't have enough information you know, but it's like, I just can't seem to let them go. I can't seem to let this person go. You're trying to make this very important decision here. Now, one or both of you may have a choice to make in love. That's for some of you, not for all of you. Two of swords here, though, it's like decision time. It's like, I really have to think about long term what it is that I want. Some of you could fear being an option for this person. Some of you may fear being an option that won't be chosen. Okay. Like I say, don't force it to don't force it if it's not your message, it's meant for someone else, okay? And you'll know because it'll make sense for you internally, it'll feel right. It'll be like the puzzle piece, like you threw the puzzle pieces down on the table and they all just landed in the right place. That's what it's like, okay? And I believe it was Aquarius that just had this card as well. For some of you, you may be dealing with an Aquarius or have that element in your charts. Um, but Four of Swords here, your intentions are to hold yourself back right now. You're not making any strong moves or, you know, things, decisions right now. It's like you're waiting for this person to be the one that makes the the, the move here to come to you or make something happen, make something work. Um, I feel like you're thinking about this person a lot, too. I feel like, you know, throughout the day when you're at work, you know, when you're getting ready or, you know, putting on your makeup or brushing your hair or, you know, shaving your beard, you know, right? Uh, gender's irrelevant here. We're talking about the energy and it's like you're preparing yourself you just can't seem to stop thinking about this person picturing them in your mind i wonder what they're doing i wonder who they're talking to i wonder if they're thinking about me right now i'm thinking about them i you know i wonder i feel like they are i feel like they're thinking about me i feel like i'm there in their mind somewhere you know it's it's that's like the energy that i feel it's like i'm waiting waiting for clarity waiting for answers waiting for this person to reach out and make an effort here with a page of wands there could be a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may have seen this person as someone who's very emotionally immature and maybe, I want to say a bit impulsive, okay? Um, or maybe they weren't very grounded in the past. You know, this person excites you. There's clearly a passion, you know, a deep connection with this person, but... It's like they weren't as committed as you needed them to be. They weren't giving as much to this as you needed them to in the past. And I feel like you're taking this time to kind of prioritize yourself. This is giving me like Aquarius reading vibes. But um, it's like you're taking this time here to really focus on you. To focus on your happiness. Some of you may have like um, an adventure, travel, plans. Okay. Some of you are fearful this person's going to come back to you, but only, you know, for a physical relationship. That's your fear. You know, maybe they won't be honest. Maybe they won't be emotional. Maybe they won't be open. Have they learned some kind of lesson here? In their energy, we do have <clears throat> sunset reminiscing on times gone by. So they are thinking about you. They're thinking not only about the, the present situation. They're thinking about the past. They're also thinking about the future. Okay. They are thinking about the past with you when things were good dreamscape connected in the in the dream or astral realm okay <clears throat> i feel like this person here they're thinking about you just as much as you think about them they may even be trying to reach out to you through dreams okay um telepathically even they may be trying to reach out to you talk to you communicate with you because i do like you guys are very connected at soul level um the three of cups here what they think about though is coming together with you reunion of some sort coming together, making things work, making things happen, enjoying the time with you. But some of you are fearful, maybe even defensive a little bit because you don't want this person to only come back, you know, in a physical way. They have to be emotional and, you know, balanced stability wise. Okay. <clears throat> you could be done with a Scorpio. This person may be desiring to make some kind of decision here for some of you, if there's other people or, energies involved in this connection that are interfering this could be a decision here to end that situation to be able to come towards you like they're waiting for the right time to make this move or make this transition to come towards you some of them 
if things ended in the past, they're wanting to uh, rebirth here. They're wanting to, you know, start again. They're wanting to clear some things out. You know, the death card is kind of, people see it, they say it's just kind of a scary card. But you have to put things into perspective. Where there's death, there's new life. There's beginnings, okay? Endings bring new, forth new beginnings. So this is, you know, one phase, one chapter that is closed so that the, the, the new one can start fresh on a fresh canvas, a blank slate kind of thing, okay? Um, and that's what they want to do here. Now there's a transformative energy here. Their intention, they're waiting. They're waiting for the right time to reach out to you. They may be looking for clues. I also, I'm getting that. They may be looking on your social media for some of you or asking people. They may be, you know, how do I want to say this? It's like they may be trying to like, you know, pray about this or meditate on this or ask for signs. You know, they're looking for confirmation that it's time to approach you or to initiate some kind of more serious conversation, to steer things in a different direction, okay? They're thinking about the future with you. They're looking, they wanna make sure that you're ready for this. This person definitely doesn't wanna come in here if you don't want them, okay? They wanna make sure that you're ready, that you do want this, because they do feel like you have, they do feel like they, they can feel that you're somehow conflicted about this, that you're unsure, like if you could proceed yet. It's like you're waiting for this person they know they have to make some changes. They are thinking about the future here with this two of wands energy. They are holding that world in their hands. They're looking at all the infinite possibilities. Um, trying to make a decision here about when is the best time to reach out to you. I feel like there's lessons being learned here. This person does recognize this connection for what it's like in losing you. And again, not justifying it. But the truth of the matter is sometimes people, I hate it, but sometimes they do that. You know, and it's like it doesn't make sense. It's not right. But... It's like it took losing you to realize what they had, you know? But it's like there's some kind of decision here, some kind of lesson they've learned. It's time to leave something, but in the past, to pursue their passions, fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Emperor's Aries energy here taking control. Uh, this could be a divine masculine situation for some of you. You could be dealing with your twin flame, okay? Four of Wands, 11, 11, okay? This person, they do recognize this connection. They want to build stability here with you. They miss you. They're thinking about you. They're, th they're reminiscing on the past. Times that were gone by. Interesting. Um, the truth emerges. Self-awareness. person, it's kind of like they may have been fighting, suppressing what this connection was in the past. But now they've transformed things. They realize they need to come at you correctly. You know, we do have honesty, good intentions here. You know, with heart. So this person is intended to come at you correctly this time. With ripples, everything is connected. Like I say, I kind of like this is like a fingerprint when I see it. It's kind of like you're a part of their DNA almost. You're so connected to this person on such a spiritual, physical, emotional level. It's like they don't understand why they always feel like you're right there with them. They're putting things together. And then here we have opposites attract. And I thought this was really interesting. Magical meeting, different than usual type. It's like when they connected with you, they weren't really anticipating to have this kind of intense connection. They weren't expecting to feel this. Maybe you guys are very different from each other or come from very different backgrounds. Maybe you're not the, the usual type that they go for, but you're so similar to this person in some ways. And it's like on an internal level, they just feel drawn to you. They feel like you're a part of them. Okay. Um, they have been trying to reach out to you through dreams, thinking about the past. They're going to return. Their intentions are good. Okay. Their intentions are good. They want to be very honest with you. Okay. They may tell you they feel very connected to you. They've never kind of let you go. They've never been able to shake you. Uh, this is this person wanted to come in. They're waiting. They're looking for signs, okay? So some of you, they may be watching you online if they have access to that or asking people about you. They're looking to see when you're prepared for this. They're looking for clues that you're open to revisit this with them, okay? So this was your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for those of you who send in donations. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.